All right, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Today we're going to um, we're going to work with sort of some dappled sunlight, uh, some sunlight coming through some trees, if you will. And um, I'm going to leave lots of white space here. I started with some lemon yellow and. Um, Put some sap green in there. And now I'm picking up some blue. This is um, ultramarine deep. Okay, and we're just gonna let some let some of that just sit on there for a couple of seconds. I'm also gonna put a little bit of paints gray in a few places like that. Again, I'm trying to keep this uh, quick, pretty loose, and we need quite a bit of white space. On the ground there okay so once you get that on and just you know quickly moving it around we need to create some uh, lines for our uh, sun coming through so I just have a piece of paper towel here I mean it's something that um, I've used many many times you can see I mean it's not but you need to use a, a dry sort of a dry area for every one of these swipes, okay? You wanna keep it pretty quick and pretty fast and pretty loose like that. And then, you know, you can let this paint run around to wherever it is that you want it to run around to. But then we really just need this to dry just exactly the way that it is. I'm gonna leave it tipped up like this, but you can move it around to wherever it is that you wanna move it around to, okay? All right, let's have let's let this dry and move on to the next part. Okay, so that's all dry, and I have some Payne's Gray on my three quarter inch flat brush, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch this onto here in a few places to get some branches, and if I want the tree to be thicker, I'm just going to touch it a second or a third time. Okay, and that's all you really want to do for any of this is just sort of touch it a couple of times. Now, you see where those, that sunbeam is, you need to take out a little bit of that. So you can just take your tissue and just touch it where the sunbeam is. Give it a little bit less clarity, okay? And that'll, that'll make it look more like the sunbeam is cutting across that. Now, the other thing you can do is, I don't, I don't use this very often, but this is a one quarter inch flat. And I can pick up this and I can use this to put some of the thinner branches in. And again, you just want to touch it in a few, in a few places, all right? The other thing I'm gonna use this for is, I'm gonna go across the bottom here. I'm gonna keep this quick and light and just put a, you know, a little bit of um, sort of undergrowth down here. I'm gonna to go to my one quarter inch, or sorry, my number one brush that I have sharpened the one end of it. You've probably seen me do that before. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in here I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna put in a few more branches, a few more trees if you like. And again, keep it nice and light, open, loose. Okay, just gonna make this a little bit thicker and I'm gonna put a little bit more Paints gray across here for some more undergrowth. We need to, some of these white patches to, to remain in order for it to look like, you know, some, some dappled sunlight across there. I'm gonna take this and just grab in a few thinner branches, some more expressive lines like that. Maybe a little bit more undergrowth down here. You know, 
know, something like that. All right, that's coming along not too bad. Now, you may want to, you know, lighten a little bit of this up, and that's perfectly fine. Just touch it with your, touch it with your uh, tissue or your paper towel again. All right, so we need this to, we need this to dry up, but you could probably put in, you know, a few more little indications of undergrowth in here. I like this white patch that we got going on there right now. That's not too bad at all. Put some more, you know, like that. All right, let's let this dry. All right, so that's all pretty dry. I'm going to put in some blue now. Just in, think of everything that we have on there so far as being underpainting, okay? And now, and you're going to see, I'm going to turn my, I'm going to turn my brush, you know, it's a big brush, so I'm going to turn it in lots of different angles, coming at the page in lots of different uh, depths of field and lots of different depths of color. And now, now that I have that on there, I'm going to... Um, Put a little bit of water into some of this. And then I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of this sap green that I have here, pretty intensely. And I'm gonna drop the sap green into some places wherever I want the color to be a little bit less intense. And then, and then I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of yellow. I've got this is uh, this is lemon yellow, and I'm gonna put my yellow into some places like that. All right, almost done here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this yellow ochre, drop it into a couple of places just to change up sort of some of the color a little bit. And I'm going to also put a little bit of this yellow ochre across here. Okay. All right. One last thing before we quit salt. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in those trees and a little bit of salt in these trees. And maybe a little bit more under here. Okay, and that's it. Let's let this dry and see what we get. All right, so let's see if we can't uh, finish this up a little bit. I have a black Sharpie pen here and I'm just gonna add a few lines, maybe a few, few more things on the, on the ground, just a few more little you know, touches here and there. Put a few more tree branches in or define some trunks, you know, put a few sort of very expressive lines up in the canopy. All right, put a tape down there a little bit more. And you can certainly use your black sharpie pen you know to give you definition wherever it is that you think you want definition you know i think also some over here all right that's not too bad let's put our mat on here and see what we get yeah that's not uh i kind of like it when you have some more and get a little bit more of the, the ground in here yeah that's pretty cool looking I kind of like, they, there's some pretty interesting places where the sunlight comes through there. You can push it up a little bit more like this. I think that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know where you're from. If you could drop me a comment, let me know where you're from. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, if you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot for subscribing. If you're not currently a subscriber, 
please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're looking for any of the products that I use, they're all listed. There's links to all of them in the description. Thanks a lot for watching today, and we'll see you again real soon. Have a great time painting. And I think I'm just going to put my initials on there. All right, thanks for watching today. See you soon.